this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I am inserting thrums into these mittens as I knit them. The yarn for these mittens is a worsted weight 100% uh, non superwash wool. I am using Harrisville Designs uh, in their Highland Worsted and the fiber for these mitts is Sea Turtle Fiber Arts Superwash Merino Nylon um, in some rainbow tones. I did not prepare my thrums in advance and I am making them as I go along. In order to do that, all I am doing is pulling a finger width um, strip off of my roving and then pulling that into staple length thrums. And that's all the prep I am doing on my thrums. To insert my thrums, I am knitting along until I come to the stitch that requires a thrum. That would be this one. And rather than insert my needle into my stitch, I'm going to insert it into the space or the stitch below. So you can see I'm going into the stitch below the stitch on my needle. Put that down for a second. Take a thrum and twist, twist, twist. Wrap it around my finger and slide it onto my needle. Keeping tension on my thrum, I can pull my tip through and put it into the active stitch. Move my thrum to the back, yarn around and knit my stitch and then cast my thrum off and tug it into place. Again, I am going to knit over to the stitch that requires a thrum. I'm going to place my tip into the space below the stitch. Put that down, take my thrum, twist, 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 wrap it around my finger, slide it onto my needle, pull it through, insert into the stitch, knit it, and cast off my thrum, tug it to the back. You can see I have my five thrums inserted on this row, but the ends of them are long and straggly. If you leave your ends like this, they will tangle with each other, with your fingers, and with your knitting. So all you need to do is take some scissors and trim those thrums to a little over two inches. The key is that they are now blunt and uniform in length and then tuck them into the mitten, ready to knit your next round. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything else I've got going on in my yarn lab.